to actually um, like you know I'm, I don't have any product I'm just brushing I was planning to do another look today but then I received a message uh, <laughs> yes a message and I was like why not to do this is something like I I, I want to do that's like fun so um, today I'm gonna do a beach um, like a beach vacation makeup well um the day makeup and the night makeups are different and uh okay little about it i, I gotta be quick uh, but uh, little about it is that um like you know it's everybody has a different funda about beach makeup let me just tell you like some say uh you shouldn't apply anything and uh, some are like they get tanned and all that stuff some say that uh, you know uh, you should use little powder product or very light product some say you should use different way so what i think is different basically i feel um it depends on how's your uh, skin as in like uh, if it is dry if it is oily if it has uh, marks if it needs coverage and of course nobody like you know wants to be like I don't want to be in dark circles on my beach vacation so I want to cover that but I want to cover it smartly so this is how I feel um, we can do but yes we cannot expect to have a flawless uh, face if you have any flaws so a flawless face um, you know on the beach like how you have in a city so we gotta be very uh, tricky with that so first of all tie up your hair tight like that i i hope you can see um it's, it's gonna do half of your job as in like if you just stretch this uh automatically your this part raises up so you need less uh, you know uh product to contour or just like you know uplift your face so it's really important now um uh, what i'm gonna use is very important which is a sunscreen sunscreen this is by blossom culture and i just love it this is with spf 30 but you can go for any other um spf and yeah i am trying my level best no 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 i'm using majorly majorly all the drugstore products so Mm, I don't think any of them is so expensive. So um, let's start. So mattifying sunblock is very important. Sunblock is like super important. So I feel this always happens with this. Uh, oh, okay. So uh, of course, so I'm going to just focus first on the high parts of my face. And then like, you know, once I've covered this, I'm going to go and head outwards now 30 i'm using because i'm just doing it here in uh, city but over there in, at the beach i would recommend trust me i would recommend more than 100 80 plus for sure minimum so it's okay now i'm gonna tell you uh the products like you see how it is just mattified this is what we want because we don't want um you know so oily kind of like you know face or greasy face at the beach no we just want this kind all right so also i was saying what i was saying yeah so i'm gonna tell you uh both the looks at the same time like uh, the day look what you're gonna do and the night look what you're gonna do because the day look has completely different things and the night look has different requirements so now i'm gonna go for the bros and uh, this one is by k um K for K by Katrina uh, bro pencil in chestnut. I feel like this is really good for the beach because it's little drying. So I'm gonna use this product which is which stays for longer. It is drier because if you use again, it contradicts with what I'll be doing next, but I'll be doing it smartly. So this one, because my bros, I really need my bros to be like well filled up i like thick brows i don't i don't want like you know uneven brows or that kind so i want it to last so for that i need this but i always still keep this um brow pencil in my bag so uh by talking about this i got uh two of them messaging i guess that you want to see in uh, on one of the day that what's in my bag uh video like what all i keep and everything so let me know if you want that uh thing that you know i talk everything about the bag and the bag products that i have and why do i have and all that stuff so just let me know here so i've done that long ago i think ages ago decade ago one video like that but um 
it's like much upgraded now so if you have thicker brows uh, you don't need to do brows uh, like a brow filling uh, in the daytime but in the nighttime it looks neater but if you uh, like you know have uh, like uh, you still want your brows to be little tied up because they're so bushy you can use a gel now this is my benefit again i do not have a clear gel in the drugstore range but uh, like i personally would not use this because i don't have bushy brows so i just need this and in case uh, something happens i can just uh, like you know retouch with this in case i need it otherwise i won't so that's why i'm not using it but you can use a clear gel if you want if you have good brows you're blessed and i hate you for that <laughs> now heading to primer primer is very important i'm usually using sugar cosmetics okay let me just tell you the prices also uh this one i am sorry i don't know but it's obviously below i think 800 you can just check i'll try to tell you the prices so that you know that that is not the <laughs> expensive one but i feel sugar cosmetics anyhow has good uh, pricing like it's pretty pocket friendly so i'm just gonna like you know you want a smooth skin on the beach you just want it to be like looking natural and that is what we would be going for so i am kind of like pushing the product in for spreading it out evenly and then just pushing the product in so that it just fills up the pores and it gives you a smooth finish also this actually uh, evens out a little bit your skin tone as well right so uh, this step i would skip in the daytime but i would uh, do it in the nighttime at the beach now in the daytime the sun is so harsh that it is like showing up everything on your face so i would not do that so you can uh, don't you don't consider this uh, you know for the daytime look but what i'm talking about is concealing uh, now concealing yes i'm going to be doing now i'm going to do it with a product which is pretty tricky I'm going to do concealing first because I don't want the concealer, the contouring to be visible. Uh, it should look like very seamless. So now very, um, <laughs> it's pretty tricky. I'm telling you. Uh, so I'm using this uh, Derma color. I have already taken it here. This is in shade four and a half. Now this is, you get this at the Krylon store. So many of you asked me earlier as well. Now I'm going to mix this with water and just blend it pretty well it because it's very drying but it stays for super long and it's waterproof you can see that it's waterproof so it's pretty tricky now you can go for a little uh, darker shade as well in this but let me just take darker shade only uh, i've taken this shade this is d64 and i feel like this is really good for my skin because it's almost like my skin color you can see here so that is why i want like exactly my skin shade so i'm gonna take this i'm gonna of course just let it be ready for the application now I apply it with the hand so i'm gonna take this very light on my finger and i will just you can see it's like hardly visible so i'm just gonna cover this part now see i have sunlight allergy so i uh, don't go directly under the sun but yes i might sweat that is why i don't want my concealer to move or uh, my like dark circles to be visible like after an hour or so uh, sitting at the beach or at the shack so i don't want that so that is why you can see the difference now of course the beach look is not 100 percent uh, full coverage we don't want that also so it's medium buildable so i'm just gonna have it here like small small places i'm gonna build it up till the thing i feel like yeah this is okay i can handle this much so you can see the difference now right, so now i'm just using the places where i need it i'm not gonna apply it all over just a bit by bit everywhere just a bit i haven't applied anything anywhere else 
so now i'm doing the contouring just a bit but contouring is like i feel it just adds up uh, that uh, little bronziness which we want and uh, i'm going to use this face forward uh, contour stick in fawn yeah fawn first and i'm just going to create the shadows and then little bl bit blend it just applying it here now you have to be very tricky uh, with the products we are using so I would not recommend you to use this kind of look directly at the beach so practice it before you leave for the vacation because you'll be left with nothing in your hand if you are uh, like you know not like prepared or uh, sure of what you have to do so you can see take any uh, brush flat brush like that this is my kit brush so not available but you can take any contour brush and just blend it you not gonna see anything so basically you can see I'm using those products which are long lasting little heavy but um, we are using tiny bit of it and using it smartly so that it doesn't move and uh, we are using it in a like very less quantity and you're not gonna see all this in a while like we have still not done with the full base so um, you like you know you don't want your products to move and just use like you know compact or uh, like you know just tiny bit of it and in a while because if you use powder products they're gonna like you know just uh, they, they're gonna move and you won't see it once you start sweating so now I'm going to use the blush again because I want a very natural look later on so I'm going to use all these products again I'm going for the uh, cream uh, the stick one face forward otherwise um, I love nude sticks uh, poppy girl I just love it but since I'm doing everything uh, in the drugstore so you can go for it this one is for $7.99 but if you still find it on the prices side use any uh, you know peach pink plum shade according to its skin color use those shades lipsticks and just dab it it's gonna be fine so it's this way and i'm gonna be like applying it here don't worry about if it's a lot because it'll get covered up so we we just want a bit of this shade to be peeping out after at the after the final look so that is why i'm just blending it with the finger I was saying uh, if I blend it with a finger it really blends pretty well so you can see that and I'm gonna do this uh, very less in the daytime but in the evening time I'm gonna do it this way so whichever you are uh, opting to do the makeup you just do that and then a little bit I'm gonna apply it here just a bit and just a little bit blend it together now now so now to put all of them together, I'm going to use G Beauty uh, Velvety Blender and now I'm just going to blend all this together, all of it. This is going to help it still sink in and in case there is any uh, blending left anywhere, this is going to help it out. So now we're going to go for um, the BB cream. I do not recommend a uh, foundation on top of this. It's not required because uh, where all we required uh, any coverage or any um, shaping up or any bronzing, we have already done that. So this is just to even out everything. I'm using Sugar Cosmetics BB cream. You can use any of your favorite BB cream, but in a very less quantity. So. I'm just taking this much if you're gonna see it's just slightest amount and um, all right so this is in the shade Cortado yeah this isn't the shade Cortado medium which is like pretty dark so always you should take the products that is a shade darker to your skin tone when you are uh, at the beach so now very little by little I will apply it on top of it just a bit just covering up all parts dividing it evenly and now it's your optional thing that you want to go and use the 
velvety blender or you want to use the brush i would require uh, i would advise i was saying <laughs> two words together so i would advise blender does its job because it really sinks everything like you know into the skin so i really feel that's good so let's uh, switch with that but in case you are using a brush or let me just say in case you're using a brush you're gonna just keep dabbing it like the stippling uh thing that i told you otherwise but this is gonna help it just sink in dbt velvety blender would do its job now this um where's that yeah this bb cream it has little coverage as well so use it again i'm saying do this uh makeup before leaving for your holidays so that you know it like how much you need the product you don't spoil it because you don't want to sit in front of the mirror and on your holiday uh, uh resort and just like you know do your makeup you want to go and enjoy and feel beautiful at the same time so you can see it's covered up still a little bit is like peeping out i don't know if you guys can see like little blush little uh like you know contouring it's just this is what we want where you can now go bold are your eyes and uh maybe your lips in the evening but i would recommend if you are going like you know you have two options either you go for the uh colorful one and go for the colored pencil or if you want um like a natural kind of look then you go for a brown one never 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 use a black coal pencil or a black liner um at the beach no we don't do that so i'm confused which one to go for all right let me just do with the regular because this is something i use it every time so colored one so i'm going to use uh the brown one Anyway, uh, the waterproof pencil, what I'm talking about is uh, this by Rimmel. Rimmel uh, Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer Pencil. This is in shade Deep Ocean. So if you want a colored pencil which is waterproof for the beach, this is amazing. Problem. I'm now using uh, this House of Makeup Duty, Double Duty um, Pencil, Eye Pencil in Bronze. And um, if you want, you can use a little shimmer eyeshadow. But since I'm going for a very natural kind of look, so I'm using this, just this. And I'm going to be very close to my lash line. Very close. And simultaneously, I will keep blending this liner, which is like super important because blending, blending, we need a softer look. We do not want, like, you know, it to look like... Uh, made up so that is why and if, if you feel like you are still you want more color with this so you can just keep building up since we won't be using a uh, false lashes uh, something what you can do with your liner is never give it a wing but at the end when you are blending this just give it a lift a little bit like it goes higher so it will automatically give an illusion of like uplifted eye now for the lower lash line i will just like since we want uh, to give it a lift, I'm going to just do this part, but I'm not going to go with the lash line, but again, extending this, what, what we have uh, blended, just extend it little like that. So again, it's going to give an uplifted kind of a thing and just blend it. So just go like that. So you, I don't know if you can understand and feel like this goes lifted up and this is like normal doing a colored liner do uh, that lifting thing to the upper one also not to the lower and lower one you still use the brown one and do it because it looks like we, that's basically a contouring which we can't do it with the colored one so it's just the brown one so brown liner you keep it all the time so now we are going for the mascara and oh my god it's so important so 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 important to have a waterproof mascara because uh you know i've seen everybody using so many waterproof stuff but mascara they don't uh, which is not good you for the beach you really need to have a waterproof mascara and i'm using this by rimmel it's 100 percent a waterproof uh, what's the name of mascara just 100 percent waterproof mascara and the price is uh 335 so pretty good at the pocket so this is black in shade and apply loads of mascara 
because that's going to do so much to the look and uh, I feel like you don't need anything when you have such a good mascara. Right, so I don't know if you can make the difference. I think you can. Uh, like uh, I have done two coats of mascara and this mascara is really nice because it doesn't uh, like, you know, it's not so heavy. So it still makes your um, like original lashes be separated with each other, which is very difficult to have uh, a quality in a mascara. So I feel like, you know, this kind of like gives uh i that attention which this is like oh my god no i don't want that let me just fix it i've seen i've still not set my base uh because i have to still uh apply the highlighter and i'm taking this one today this is again by sugar cosmetics um face forward highlighter stick in zero to royal rose and i will apply this where all i want that sun to hit uh, my skin and it should look like whoa that's a glow man we're looking for so it's really important to just uh like you know apply it with the finger so it just blends pretty well and then we're gonna set the face so all these places here maybe a little bit on the forehead just above the arch of this brow just about that because that just again lifts up the face a little bit here just a little bit i just want to focus here more like going like that now we're just gonna set the base i'm using this uh rimmel fix uh, insta fix and matte translucent powder and it's in 001 translucent and i'm taking just lightest amount dab it still here and now just dab it all over the face so that the powder is not visible just with a very light hand give it time because this is like your final uh, touch to the cream base that you're doing so it shouldn't be like a lot it should look like your own skin it's completely your choice you want to go for the powder blush or not now um i don't mind using a powder blush uh, like you know in in case i'm going for uh, you know a daytime beach outing or even at the you know um what do you say at the shack or anything because you're going to click pictures and it should look because uh, the camera flushes out all the uh, shades a bit so what all is visible in uh, the uh, you know in real uh, camera just suppresses it so it's completely your choice i don't mind doing that uh, so that is why i'm doing it otherwise you if you're not worried about the pictures then you can just do this in the night uh, the day you can just leave it like that because when the light hits you you should look beautiful I'm using Color Essence uh, Blusher in shade, I don't know if it's 02, article number is SH3, so yeah, but it's of 220 rupees and I'm using DBT RB4 brush, just a bit and now very softly I'm just gonna just let the blush, like you know, be here look naturally. So don't worry about the pores guys, uh, because we have not applied a lot of uh, product and we have already applied the primer which is mattifying and so it won't be visible so you've got to be but still very careful and very soft with your skin you have to remember this that uh, this flush will go in a while because um, you're gonna sweat and uh, normally you know it goes away so that is why your cream blush is really important so your lip balm is the most important uh, at the beach and now you want to go for the tinted one you can go for the tinted one you want to go for uh, you know the just the transparent one you can go and uh, that i feel is really good uh, i feel in the daytime you should go for the tinted one tinted uh, lip balms it's uh, pretty good you know this this one i got it from sugar cosmetics uh, one <laughs> all right this bag this band rubber band okay <laughs> uh if you're gonna go for the uh, evening time then i don't mind uh, wearing a lip liner and uh, i'm gonna use this one this one is a new one this is by nyx cosmetics uh, retractable lip liner and this is a waterproof one that is why and this is in the shade dark red so no problem go for it all right 
so okay i'll do that later so what we're gonna do is just very slightly just outline your lips before I head to the upper one, I've just outlined it with this uh, NYX uh, lip liner and I'm going to take a lip brush and just blend it inwards. So so slightly, I'm going to just put the dots of the lip liner and just blend it here on my lips now this is your base like uh, your lip color uh, like you know won't move uh, but I want like little like you know youth a uh, color little bright color so uh, I'm gonna take a liquid lipstick but slightest amount and just tap it over it so I'm using this a uh, gosh a uh, liquid lipstick it's in the shade yeah candy floss 001 so just lightest amount and you can build it up i'm focusing in the center just build it up like how much do you want but slightest amount goes a long way so i'm gonna just look at that it just gets back uh, that lip forward and this is what we want You're gonna wait for it to dry up okay like before that you have to blend but then you have to wait for it to dry so i'm just gonna blend it so this is the look but the most important thing is the setting spray that i feel you should not uh like you know worry about like it's an investment trust me so it's very important those um, you know the uh, makeup should not move we don't want that so that is why I'm going for this Huda Beauty um, resting boss face and just apply that okay where's my fan where's my fan okay here there yeah <laughs> so uh -huh. guys ready to party at the beach how did you like it